This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the quick lab turns and services and YouTube community guidelines. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So first of all, just me log into your credentials and once you're done with that, just me come back over here and just me search for the Vertex AI over here, like this way. Open this thing in new tab, then come back over here. Now just me click on this dashboard over here. And then click on this enable all recommendation API over here. Make sure that we have to click on this button. Now once you're done with this thing, just me scroll down and here you can see this workbench. Just me click over here. Now just me click on this open Jupyter lab like this way. And it's done. Now sometimes what happen? We are not able to see all these three files over here. And if you also face the same issue, don't worry. Just me come back over here. Click on the checkbox and then just me click on this reset button. And after that, if you just me come back over here and if you just me refresh the page, you will see all these three files. Okay. Now what you do? Just me right click on this first file and then just me click on this delete and then click on this delete over here. That's it. Okay. Now in the description box of this video, I will share on GitHub link. Just me click on that link and then we are able to access this file over here. Now just me click on this download button and the file will download to your local system. Once you're done with this thing, come back and then just me click on this upload and just me upload the file which you just downloaded like this way. Now just me wait. And it's done. Okay. Now just me double click over here to open the file. And if you face this kind of issues over here, don't worry. Just me click on this dismiss. Again, try to open. Okay. And it's done. Now what you do? If you're using a Jupyter notebook for the first time, so for running a shell or we can say command, you can just me click on this play button or you can just me hit shift and enter. Just make sure that your kernel must be Python 3 and it should be ideal. If it busy connecting at that time, we have to just me wait. And if you face any kind of file issue error, which we get earlier, don't worry about that. You can just me dismiss that error and run all the shells again. Okay. Now the first thing that you have to check, you have to just me check your kernel and the status. It should be ideal. Okay. Now just me click over here like this way and hit shift and enter like this and if you just me check you can see the kernel status is busy so just me wait until it shows a ideal so it's ideal now now what you do we have to restart our kernel for that we have to just me run this shell so just me run this one wait for a second you will get this kind of pop-up click on this ok and just me check the status of your kernel it should be ideal now so as you can see it's ideal and it's stable also okay now what you do, you have to hit shift and enter till end. So just me hit shift and enter till end over here like this way. Okay, so it's done. Now if you just check over here from here you can see the kernel status is busy and it have to execute all these 24 shells. So just me wait until it shows the idea. So I can ask you something to you? Really? I will ask you मानेंगे लेकिन अगर करेंगे नहीं तो पक्का करेंगे and it's finally done now the first thing that you have to check once you're done with all these shells just me scroll up and just me check are you facing any kind of issue over here if not then you can just me come back over here and check the score and if you're getting any kind of issue just me run all the shells again okay now just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated for any particular task no need to worry just me wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score over here for sure so just me wait and watch and as you can see it's done and in this way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys remember this video is for educational purpose Please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and YouTube community guidelines.